Me6 Custom Commands is a useful tool that can be used in a variety of ways in your server. We will look at what custom commands can do, as well as some examples that you could use. You can use the timestamps in the description to jump to the tutorial section and to each of the examples. Log into the Me6 dashboard. Click on the custom commands link on the left side. If it's the first time you have used this plugin, you will be asked to activate it. The custom commands page will initially be empty. As you create custom commands, they will be listed on this page. You can create a maximum of 500 custom commands. Let's create a custom command by clicking on the new custom command button. Click at the top to give your custom command a name. Spaces aren't allowed in names, and if you add any, they will be replaced with dashes when the custom command is saved. There are four actions to choose from. Two of these are for messages, the other two are for roles. One important thing to note. A custom command can only give or remove roles from the person who uses it. You cannot use a custom command to give or remove roles from someone else. Let's look at the basics for each of the options. Additional features, as well as the advanced options and permissions, will be covered after this. Bot sends message in a predefined channel. With this action, the custom command can be used in any permitted channel, and the bot message will always appear in the channel that's specified here. You can add a text message, or an embed message, or both. Embeds allow you to include images, headers and footers, and fields. The add a message and make the bot randomly pick which one to send option does exactly what it says. It lets you add additional messages and when the custom command is used, the bot will randomly choose which of the messages to send. You can see how this could be used in an example later in the video. Once you have created your message, click on save and close. Bot responds with message in current channel. With this action, the bot message will be sent to the channel that the custom command is used in. However, there is also a private message option. With this enabled, the bot will send the message by DM to the person who uses the command. The person must accept DMs from server members, otherwise they won't receive the DM from the bot. The other settings here are the same as for the previous action. Bot gives member a role. With this action, the bot will give one or more roles to the member that uses the command. As mentioned earlier, you cannot give roles to other members with custom commands. Once you have selected the roles to give, click on Save and Close. Bot removes a role from a member. This is similar to the previous option, except that it will remove one or more roles from the member that uses the command. You will have noticed an Add Another Action button in each of the actions. This allows you to add one or more additional actions, so your custom command can carry out several actions at once. You can have a maximum of five actions in a custom command. You can combine different types of actions. For example, a custom command could give one role, remove another role, then send a message to give the person some information. You will see in this example some curly brackets with the word user inside. This is a custom command variable. Variables are custom elements that can give additional information. This variable will show the name of the person using the command when the message is sent. Custom commands also support arguments. Arguments are placeholders that you can replace with specific text or values. There are links in the video description to the Me6 articles on variables and arguments. Some of these are used in the examples later in the video. Let's look at the more advanced options and permissions. Command description lets you add an optional description for your custom command. This is useful to help you know what your custom command is for, especially if you have lots of custom commands. Roles and channel permissions let you choose which roles can use the custom command and in which channels they can use it. Do note that anyone with full administrator permissions will always have permission to use a custom command, no matter the role settings. However, the channel settings will still apply to them. In this example, if you only wanted moderators to use a custom command, and they can use it anywhere, you would set it up like this. Anyone who can't use the custom command will get a message telling them this. If you wanted everyone to use a custom command, but only use it in general chat, you would set it up like this. 
Anyone who tries to use the custom command outside of general chat will get a message telling them they can't use it there. Cooldown lets you specify how often a custom command can be used. None lets the custom command be used at any time by anyone. Server lets you set a time interval between uses by anyone in your server. In this example, the custom command can only be used once every 90 minutes by anyone in the server. When the custom command is on cooldown, users will get a message telling them that they can't use it and for how long. User lets you set a time interval between uses by individual users. In this example, the custom command can only be used once every 60 minutes by a user. However, other users who haven't used the command can still use it and once they have, they will have the 60 minute cooldown applied to them. Each custom command can only have one cooldown option active, but you can have different ones active in different custom commands. Visibility lets you hide the use of custom commands. When a custom command is used, the message will be deleted and then the custom command actions will happen. This is useful if you like your channels to be clean of custom command messages. When you have created a custom command, you will see it in the custom command list. You can see what the custom command does with either basic default messages or a custom command description if you have added one. You will notice that custom commands begin with a prefix, sometimes called a legacy prefix. The default prefix is an exclamation mark. Custom commands don't support slash commands, they only work with this prefix. They won't appear in the list of commands when using slash commands in the channel. You can change the prefix in the settings section of the MESIX dashboard. It is recommended that you don't change the prefix to slash as this will be confusing for users because custom commands won't appear in the list of slash commands available for them to use. Here are some examples of ways to use custom commands. This custom command includes an embed with text and an image. This one is an animated GIF. It's a useful way to help explain things to users in the server. Custom commands containing these information embeds can also be used in forum channels and threads. This is very useful because at this time the embeds plugin does not support forum channels and threads. This custom command will send a message from the user to a specified channel. Users can use the command, then add their report information after the command before they press enter. The received message uses variables that include the user's name and the channel they use the command in. You could also use this as a simple feedback system. You can create more complex systems by checking out the link to the MESIX custom command arguments article in the video description. This command lets you send messages as the bot in the channel you use the command in. You can use it for fun to pretend the bot is talking to other members, or for saying things to members without them knowing it is you that has said it. Do note that if anyone is in the channel when you send the message, they may see your message briefly before it is deleted and the bot posts its message. A variation of this lets you use the command in another channel, for example a moderator only channel, and the message will be sent to a specified channel, in this case general chat. This means that no one apart from other moderators would see you sending the message. You can use this custom command as a random number generator using the random xy variable. Just change the x and y to the min and max values you want. You could use this to randomly choose things from a numbered list or for fun. Users can use this command and then mention another user and the bot will ping them with a hug message. You can include an image if you wish by also adding an embed and uploading the image to that. Users can use this command and then mention another user and the bot will ping them with a random action message. The random action is chosen from the selection added using the additional message option. First you need to create some colour roles in your server. These roles don't have any permissions, they just have a name and a colour. The roles need to be above all other member roles for the colour to show when members gain these. The easiest way to self-assign roles is with the Reaction Roles plugin, which I won't cover here. You can do it using custom commands too. 
A custom command to assign a colour role would look like this. This gives the red role to the member and removes all colour roles in case they have one of those already. It then sends a message to tell the member that they have the red role. You will have to create a custom command for each of the colours you want to give. You can also create a custom command to remove the colour roles for users who no longer want to have one. Users in your server can see all available custom commands. For them to do this, the Help plugin in the Mesix dashboard must be enabled. Inside the plugin, the Help command must also be enabled. By default, the Help command can be used by everyone in every channel. You can edit the command to set your own channel and role permissions. Users can then use the slash command Help commands. This will show an embed of all available custom commands. They can also use help commands using the legacy prefix you have in the settings section of the Me6 dashboard. As you will see, custom command descriptions from the advanced options are shown in the embed. This makes them very useful so that users know exactly what a custom command is for or to add any instructions for use. There are other possibilities for custom commands. It comes down to your imagination and what might be useful in your server. That covers custom commands. Do check out the other Managing Me 6 tutorials.